Hello Pisces, thank you so much for your patience because I know that you guys have been waiting for quite some time and you usually come out on Sundays and I apologize for the delay. I was away this weekend and that is why the, the video was one day late. But Pisces, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries from October 28th through November 4th. These are general energies. Uh, this is an oracle card reading here to pick up on the general energies, general challenges, struggles, advice, and then we have an extended link below to Vimeo to take you over to the full tarot card spread as well as the romance reading. So, Pisces, thank you so much for finding me. If this is your first time to Born Without Boundaries, oh, welcome. Please do click the subscribe button below and join the journey. And also click on those bells below so that you get all the content and uh, content updates or notifications. So when I go live, you'll know. And I do go live every day, Monday through Friday, between 8 and 9 a.m., usually Eastern Standard Time, FYI. Um, <clears throat> if you are on platforms, guys, <coughs> that allow for commercial interruptions, then expect one in a couple of seconds. Thank you so much for letting that video, that commercial run that is actually, whether you know it or not, a donation to the channel. And I appreciate it a great deal. It helps me out a lot here. Um, and, I, I, and, I, and, and there will be no more commercial interruptions, so the message will not be interrupted. I will see you in a couple of seconds. So either you sat through an awkward pause or you sat through a commercial, either way, you're still here and I am very grateful, Pisces. So let's get into your oracle reading, going for general energies for the zodiac sign of Pisces for October 28th through November 4th of 2019 as we approach Thanksgiving season, though we still haven't gotten through uh, Halloween. It feels like it because I cel celebrated Halloween and so many people ce celebrated Halloween this um this weekend but halloween is still around the corner so we still have mo candy mo candy mo candy i think something's coming to light to be honest with you something is coming out of the dark pisces some maybe it's you that's coming out of the dark you that's sort of rising above where you were before or who you were before or the people that you were stuck with before whatever it was it's almost like you're rising up your shining light is almost like a, a beacon light. Your beacon light is lit. It's almost like you've put out the alarm, sounded the alarm and saying, I am here and you're coming out of the dark. Or you've just taken notice of somebody who has come out of the dark. Something has been revealed to you. In other words, there is this energy of somebody or something that was lurking for quite some time. Something, um, I don't know if it was ominous in terms of it wasn't, wasn't going to hurt you. But there was something that you could feel on the horizon coming and growing. But you couldn't really put a face to it or name to it or understand it. And now it's coming to life. And that's basically what's happening throughout all of Scorpio season. Things that we thought were over or thought were uh, dead or ended or, or not even just, just things that were hidden are now coming out. And remember, this is the new moon, so we have new chances. And I feel like we have new chances with old opportunities in some ways. And Pisces, that definitely rings true for you. So the two cards that are crowning your reading are Panther Spirit and Peacock Spirit, but they came out in reverse, which tells me that things are no longer undercover or hidden. Panther is reclaim your power. And if it comes out in reverse, then it's either somebody trying to drain your power or it's somebody that is or it's it's you feeling a little bit drained or a little bit used and manipulated and then we have peacock let it shine and this is you basically upside down so you're not really shining but i do think see it came out like this so the light is shining up i think that what you have done is almost put out a, a warning call or a, a call for help a cry for help now is a lucky time is also in reverse pisces oh boy uh, be here now. Okay. So, so this, this week open to infinite possibilities. Interesting. Interesting. Something has taken a long time to get to you. I think that's what's going on. There's been something that you almost gave up hope on because it took a long time to get to you. Something that you thought would never take off. Um, something that felt unfortunate or mishappen or no matter how hard you tried, nothing was happening. But there has been like a call to you, a call to you this week, something coming in, a ring maybe, a ring coming into you saying that, yes, we are popping off. We have noticed you be here now. The moment is now. The moment is happening now. Something that you thought would never get here and never arrive. And maybe it has to do with 
an Aquarius, could have to do with an Aquarius, could have to do with a Libra, could just have to do with a higher thought or a philosophy and something that would balance people out or community service or giving to people, helping people. With, a, clear, with Aquarius energy and Libra energy, both on the table, Pisces, it tells me that you're in, in the work of helping people or something very spiritual, maybe spreading the word of some sort of idealism or belief or helping a, a community in somehow or helping others some way or um maybe maybe you're a spiritual advisor or a spiritual leader um of some sort but there it really is this sense of you know standing out amongst the crowd because you are openly spiritual somehow and have devoted yourself to a specific vocation or philosophy that you're now being recognized for. I think that you have called people to you like um, birds to nectar or bees to, to uh, pollen. Magic works through you. Yeah, you're the center of it all. You're the center of what is making all of this happen. I, in other words, you have been manifesting. Manifestation is slow moving magic. That's what it, what it really is. It's setting your mind to something in every single day, doing it over and over or building it over and over and never giving up. Tenacity is the best, um, engine, uh, the best fuel for any kind of, um, manifestation. If you just keep, don't give up on it. It's not, it's not, it's, it's impossible. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's impossible for it to fail. But in some way, there seems like there is a little bit of betrayal here. Yeah. Um, so what does that mean for you guys? It's almost like there are good things happening to you. But like what's being revealed is the people who actually held you back and hurt you. And so there's like a bittersweet moment. You're happy to move on, Pisces, this week. But there's also this energy of realizing that not everybody was your friend and not everybody's going to be happy for you. And that is unfortunate, but it is not the end all of your existence. The issue is that you are extremely emotional and you love being loved and you love giving love and sharing love. And it's going to feel like backstabbing and betrayal. And it is, it's exactly what it is because they were not supportive of you or almost like you expected support from a specific group of people or a specific person and they did not give it to you. It's almost like they flipped you upside down and sort of like sold you out. Uh, maybe that's why you have a compromised sense of self because, you know, this is supposed to be such a happy time. There are wonderful things on the table for you, but at the same time, you know, you feel a little bit compromised in terms of how you emotionally feel because what was supposed to love you and take care of you or who you assumed would be on your side is not, it's like, it's like people, not everybody is happy for you. And now you're going to see like the, the wolf in sheep's clothing. Those people who were really only associating with you because you made their lives better as opposed to those people who, the, you know, the real people, the true people, the truth. Um, uh, wolf says, turn knowledge into wisdom. I feel like you got knowledge turned against you. It's almost like you got flipped upside down by the knowledge that you just realized. And though it may grow into wisdom, Pisces, it's almost like a uh, sort of a jaded kind of wisdom, if you will, because it's almost like, wow, wow, people can really be like that. And fuck, I like, this is almost like, you know, a page from my past that I didn't want to repeat. How did, th that's just, this is what you have to be warned against this week, though, Pisces. Please, 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 don't doubt your self-worth or let you feel like this is a reflection upon you because of the way that other people behave. That's their choices. But I feel like it has compromised you and diminished you somehow um, and made you feel, sort of made you, sort of it dimmed your shine in some way and that's why Peacock, like Let It Shine, is coming out on, on backwards. It's still shining. You're still being noticed and it's almost like you're still coming out of the dark, um, but it, you're having a hard time shining to your, you're not shining to your full capacity because there's also this sense of feeling drained or feeling unlucky or feeling uncared about, you know, feeling um, used, used. Focus on your star power, man, because Pisces, you have it. You have it this week. It really is. Be here now, open to infinite possibilities. 
There's something in your life, maybe you got a promotion or an opportunity that other people were waiting for and that's why they're being bitchy to you now. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you can't be happy for me. You're supposed to be happy for me. Why can't you be happy for me? You're supposed to be my friend. Were you only my friend when I was in the situation with you, you know, before we both made it? There is a sense of that mentality being around you this week. Uh, and it could be somebody relatively close to you. I feel like if they are a relative of some sort, Pisces, you will work this out with them. There is a sense of, yeah, they're going to piss you off and it's really going to hurt you. And it's going to take a little bit of steam out of you. But it's not complete and total betrayal. And you will be able to make amends with them. If this is a friend, I'm not sure that you'll even care about making amends with them. I'm not sure that you have any interest. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't feel like you do have any interest. Um, but yeah, you are definitely standing out and you're standing out. Ooh, I think that there is a potential for a lovely, a lovely relationship coming in for you. Maybe with, um, no, not with a Scorpio. Well, could be, could be any sign. I'm so sorry, Pisces. It really could be any sign. Um, but you are really healing this person because this person has sort of been a lone wolf for quite some time. Yeah, and they have a mentality of not being able to trust people very easily, but you being that sort of just ever malleable, flexible soul that you are made them feel comfortable where they couldn't feel comfortable before. And it's almost like you have worked magic a healing magic you know healing is magic healing is the highest form of magic because you help to bring out the absolute best and nurture people and put people back into balance and i think that that's what you did with this person this person who felt like very ostracized and separate from everybody you gave a home to and you made them feel loved and wanted and maybe it's this person that's betraying you and and if it is then yeah, I could understand why you would feel so diminished because um, you honestly felt like this was going in a different direction, like that you had bought out the best in them. And it seems like, well, it's, it doesn't mean that you haven't. It's just that they're reverting back to their old ways of bitterness and not trusting people. And I think, and it's because your life is moving on and they're afraid that they don't deserve you or won't be worthy of you, or they're not going to be able to keep a hold of you or that because they still need you so much. And it's strange, but it's like they went from being a lone wolf to somebody who is very dependent upon the relationship they have with you to feel any semblance. Because I don't think a lone wolf chooses to be a lone wolf. I think they're sort of exorcised from the pack. You're, or not exorcised, um, um, ostracized, yes, but um, excommunicated sort of from the pack. And and um and maybe it wasn't their fault that's not what i'm saying it could have been just you know you know them them i was you know like for example being kicked out of your house because you're you're you come out as homosexual you know that's not that's not anybody's fault but it happens too often and so this they were a lone wolf and felt like they couldn't find somebody to belong to for a long time and you gave them that. And so in other words, they didn't ever want to be alone. And they just sort of grow, grew this thick skin to try to be alone. Um, and, and, you know, maybe this is reversed, Pisces. Maybe this is actually you. Uh, you didn't actually want to be alone, but you grew this thick skin and you kept yourself alone because you felt like that was the safest place to be. And then this other person comes into your life and makes you finally feel connected again. And when they're not happy for you, when things go well, it hurts you like crazy because they were your connection. They were your connection to other humans. And we all want connection to other humans. Or they were the ones that you gave so much to and you thought that you would help them. And and you did help them. I don't, think that, I don't think that the point is that you didn't. I think the point is that they're afraid. And and their sort of shadow side comes out when they're afraid. And that's just a reverberation to a past that you had nothing to do with. There is so much here that you really can't control, Pisces. You can't make it any better. You can't heal it. This isn't, it's not about like focus on the positive things that are happening to you today because today and for the rest of this week, because there is, there's beautiful magic and there's healing and there's growing and you could be dealing with, like I said, with an Aquarius or a Libra, just really shining this beautiful light of 
of warmth and caring and exposure to bigger ideas. I think that that's what I'm getting at is there's something that you're working on or something that you're engaged in, something that's actually taking off for you that has to do with larger ideas, talking to a larger population. Maybe you're writing a book, Pisces. Maybe you're um, creating a, a, a work of art, but it's, it's not just for pleasure or to look pretty, um, though aesthetics are important. It's it's to, it has a message behind it and it's a message that has to do with a larger scope of the world, a larger view of the world. And you'll be very happy that doors are opening up for you here. Mm -hmm. You could be also, this wolf could also mean that you're going away from the pack. So you're leaving someplace that feels comfortable. You're leaving your comfort zone. You may have really stepped outside of your comfort zone to make this magic happen and to make either this relationship work or to make this project work. You're going to be going someplace that you've never gone before. Um, it, it could actually be lo lo location, geographical, but this is going outside of your comfort zone to a place that is actually foreign to you. Um, maybe it just, it just, it's not home. That's plain and simple. Um, and this could have to do with basically having to maybe leave your family behind, um, at least say goodbye for now. Uh, this is a whole new journey and a whole new way of, of living for you, or you already did this. And this was years ago that you, you got basically walked away, not from your family, but you had to leave your family and set this new life on course and, Something from that past is coming back up to to sort of rear its head this week and say, hey, we're not finished yet. Um, and you, Pisces, I think will be very disappointed when you see this person or when this when this situation comes up, because you'll almost be like, I thought you had I thought you've moved on. I thought you were bigger than this. I th like you're thinking in that higher perspective, you're thinking of that broader those broader themes. And you're really disappointed that this other person isn't as well. It's almost like they disappoint you. Let me um, turn the cards, cards around and show you. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, let me let me let me turn the cards around so that you can actually see it, them. Hold on. <laughs> 